In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Exodus desktop wallet. And for more information on Exodus, please check out everybithelps.co.uk. For those of you familiar with my channel, you'll know that Exodus is one of my favourite software wallets. The Exodus wallet, which was launched back in 2015, has a great design, supports over 100 cryptocurrencies, and it's available as a desktop and a mobile device so that you can exchange or control your assets whilst you're on the go. The wallet is really built with the beginner in mind, and it's simple to use without all the complex functionalities that you might find in other wallets. And the wallet itself is private and safe, as they encrypt the private keys and transaction data for only you to see. Plus, there's no registration or verification that you have to go through to get started. You can also manage your crypto in Exodus securely from a Trezor hardware device and access apps from right inside your wallet. Now, if you've not already downloaded it, you can do so from their website and it's available for Windows, Mac and Linux, as well as their mobile apps for App Store and Google Play. So let's jump into the tutorial. So once you've downloaded and installed Exodus, you can either make your first deposit or you can restore from a backup. Before we go ahead, I'll just show you where to set up your security. So if we head across to settings and backup, here is where you can enter in a secure password for your wallet. Then afterwards, you'll be shown your 12 word recovery phrase. And this is also known as either your backup phrase or your private keys. And you'll need to make sure that you keep these somewhere really safe, offline, and you'll be prompted to print from here too. Then you'll need to confirm the words to verify that you've written them down correctly and in the right order. Now, I'll personally be restoring a wallet today as opposed to depositing funds into here. A few years ago, my partner's grandfather said that he wanted to buy crypto, so I helped him buy a thousand euros worth. I then stored it in Exodus for him, as I felt it's probably the easiest place for him to keep a track of it without having to overcomplicate things. Unfortunately, he has since passed away, and he's passed on the crypto to my children. Therefore, I'm going to be restoring that wallet today. Now I'm just going to go away and put in the recovery seed phrase in now, which is the 12 words that we saw a moment ago. I'll also show you how to access these shortly if you've already installed Exodus. Now I obviously won't be sharing this part of the tutorial with you, as anyone with access to these words will be able to do exactly what I'm doing now and therefore will have free reigns over my crypto. And now that's restored and my crypto is appearing, you can see that it's now gone up from an initial investment of a thousand euros up to two and a half thousand. And what we're seeing here at the moment is the home screen. Now just quickly, if you do already have your Exodus wallet installed, and your screens appear slightly different to mine, you may find that you're on the older Exodus layout, which you can change by going across to the settings, then to apps, and then enable apps at the bottom of the screen. Next up, let's take a look at where we can find our secret recovery phrase, which you can find under your settings, then to backup, and it's under the secret recovery phrase. Now just make sure that if you do view these, that it's done in private and you do so with extreme caution. This should really be used as your last resort as you should already have these stored offline. Now let's head back to the home screen so that I can show you around. And you can access the home screen by clicking onto the X icon in the top left hand side of the screen. From here, you're gonna see your portfolio tab, which is represented by a pie chart at the top of the screen here. And you've got your portfolio value, the 24 hour change, highest balance, portfolio age, and then your best and worst performing assets. You also have a list of assets, which shows you things like the name, the price, change, trend balances, and values. And these assets can be filtered from here by those with a balance and by favorites. Plus you can add more assets to this list for you to be able to track them. Then if we click onto one of the assets in the list, you have the individual wallets, which is also indicated by the wallet tab at the top of the screen. And it shows me the balance of each asset, 
you can also check out some price charts and descriptions so that you can discover a little bit more about each different type of coin. And it will show you your transactions for that specific crypto too. Now if we just click on to send, you can send funds across to another wallet or an exchange by entering in the address or the QR code. And once you've entered in the amount that you'd like to send, it will then show you your corresponding fees at the bottom of the screen. Now if you want to receive funds into your wallet, from here you can see your receiving address and your QR code. So if you have funds over on exchange for example, this is your wallet to send funds to. Just make sure though, that if you're sending funds, you send the correct type of funds to the correct address. If for example you send Bitcoin to an Ethereum address, you could risk losing all your funds. You can also exchange your specific crypto from here too, which I'm going to take you through in a moment. Then you'll have the same repeated information for any crypto that you have in your wallet by clicking onto each crypto's name. Now if you do have a Trezor wallet, you can transfer funds from your Trezor across to your Exodus wallet, which is another handy way to manage your Trezor hardware wallet funds. And this was especially helpful before Trezor Suite came into effect, as it was an easy way for you to manage your funds. And even though there is Trezor Suite available, I personally still use Exodus to manage my Trezor. If you want to pair your Trezor, this can be done under your settings and devices. And I've got a full tutorial available for performing this task, plus a link to a Trezor hardware device in the summary below, if you don't already have one. But we'll head home and across the exchange at the top of the screen. So from here, we can exchange any active balance that we have. So if we select the cryptocurrency that we'd like to exchange from, and to. Then if we enter in the amount that we'd like to swap, the conversion will then show. Now this won't be the cheapest way to exchange your funds, but it's a convenient way so that you can diversify your portfolio. So let's head back to the settings now. And as I mentioned at the very start, you can also use Exodus for accessing some apps too. In here, you can increase your profit by earning interest on your crypto. You can access Compound Direct without the need to create a new account. You can get access to Exodus shares and bet on sports using crypto. However, this part will depend on your location. So let's take a look at the rewards first. In here, you can earn interest on your crypto through staking. We can deposit the likes of Cardano, Cosmos and Tezos. And if we click on to calculate profit, and select Cosmos, as I saw that that has the best rate. We can see if we were to deposit 500 for 12 months, my interest would be 9.27%. And I'll make around 351 euro here. And this is great for crypto that could potentially be sitting idle in a wallet otherwise. Next, we have Compound Finance, where you can only deposit DAI and it will show you the rate of interest. Again, you can use a calculator to see what your profit amount will be. And I've got a full tutorial for Compound available if you want to find out more about them or deposit more varied coins. Then there's the Exodus shares, where Exodus customers can now reserve interest to participate into their IPO or initial public offering. And you can create your investor profile from here. Now this feature is new, so I'll probably create a separate tutorial for this. Then finally, we have SportX, which I have a separate tutorial for too, allowing you to bet on sports and esports with a die balance from Exodus. So with all these apps, they're really trying to integrate a lot of different features so that users don't have to leave the comfort of their wallet just to access some of these apps which can just simplify some of these otherwise slightly more complicated platforms. Plus you can also connect your devices. So if you have a mobile app, you can sync these from here. I've got a separate tutorial for the mobile app too, as it really needed its own tutorial. There's some personalization that you can do, like changing currencies, which I'll change to dollars, as well as changing backgrounds and textures and styles. Now, just in terms of their support, 
I've personally used the Exodus support a few times. And unlike some other platforms, I found it really helpful and they gave a prompt response. So that completes my overview of the Exodus wallet. And I hope that you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.